is enough for a Rowlett homeowner who says burglars have kicked in his door three times this year. And as you see here, all of it's caught on camera, but police as of tonight have not cracked this case. J.D. Miles live in Rowlett. So this guy is now afraid to leave his house unattended? I, I'd imagine after three tries, right? Yeah, Doug, this is not the kind of neighborhood where you expect to see men with ski masks and guns kicking down chairs on a regular basis and kicking in doors. But this is what's happening here despite security cameras that simply don't seem to make a difference. It could be because he drives a flashy, expensive car. I try not to be, but I mean, I guess the car could be. Or because he owns a Dallas car dealership. I mean, honestly, I can't put a finger on it. Chris Brezik turned over more security camera video to Rowlett Police this week after his home was burglarized for the third time this year. I'll make you look over your shoulder every, every second you're approaching home or getting home. The owner of Dallas Cadillacs says he's ruled out any disgruntled employees as the men seen on each of the videos wearing masks, kicking in doors, and roaming Brezik's Rowlett home. Same guys for sure because they don't go through the whole house. Brezik says they got away with a safe the first time containing $80,000 but haven't found much since. That's somebody that obviously knows me. Brezik now keeps a firearm by his side and has hired a private investigator because he says Rowlett police haven't been much help. Are you satisfied with the way police have handled this, or what are your thoughts? No, nah, not at all. Now, Rowlett police told us tonight that they are having trouble solving this case because it appears somebody's targeting this victim. They are not deterred by that camera you see there or the alarm, but Rowlett police insists they are doing everything they can on this investigation. Live in Rowlett, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.